And I don't mean integrative in the integrative health sense of let's give some herbs, let's give some vitamins, and let's give some EEG feedback, let's give some neuroleptics, let's do some standard psychodynamic therapy, that's integrative. No, this word integration is not that at all. This is looking at the linkage of differentiated parts of the energy information flow systems we work in as one reality and then working in that way so that you can focus attention or use medications or EEG feedback or any of these wonderful things that are arising that are massively integrative. EMDR is a good example. CBD is a good example. I did a thing recently with DBT, Dialectical Behavior Therapy, with Marshall Linehan. You can go, and I've done keynotes for all these people, not, not DBT, but I've done a thing on a lectern with Marsha. You can examine all of these approaches that work and show how they're integrative. And then with the new findings we have, that whether it's experientially induced impediments to mental health, like developmental trauma, PTSD, those are examples of impaired integration based on an etiology of experience, or genetically based ones, or infectiously based ones, whatever is causing autism, schizophrenia, or the genetic base of bipolar disorder. This is not saying it's all about experience, no. But even if someone has a genetic vulnerability to having the neurons in their brain not link differentiated areas to each other, you as a therapist can use the focus of attention many, many times to alter the strength, to increase the strength of those integrative fibers. So in the MindSight book, you'll see how to do that. Now, when I first did that with a child with bipolar disorder, you know, I used mindfulness techniques, teach them these MindSight skills and specifically apply mindfulness, which is massively integrative. You know, I knew it was way out there. And I had the parents sign off on this because he was suicidal and it was really, really dangerous. They didn't want to give him medications. And, I had two other board-certified psychiatrists say, this kid has bipolar disorder, including me, so that's three of us. You know, and, it, and, I, and they refused medications. I said, I'll do this, but you know, we have to do this in an informed way. This isn't like some Wild West you know, therapist doing some crazy stuff that isn't with community standards. right? So was, everyone was informed about it. We took all the ingredients of neuroplasticity, aerobic exercise, omega-3s, good sleep, you know, focus of attention, you know, specific exercise to integrate the brain. And this kid literally alleviated his bipolar symptoms. And now, it's many, many years later, he's symptom-free. 